You're watching Creator Brockton, Mark Linda, your host, and I have a person and a face that you know well. John Marion. Mark Lindy, how Mr. you doing? Mr. Brockton, Mr. Christmas, Mr. Parade. I don't know, you get a lot of nicknames, right? As long as I'm not late for dinner, it's great. Exactly, and you always get a smile on your face and you're always enthusiastic, and what you are doing is the final, kind of the wrap up to the holiday parade, the Mid-Winter's Ball, correct? We'd like to call it the Winter's End Ball, but we're not, we're not seeing any Winter's End right now. No, we're not. Well, no. spring is right around the corner, maybe, John, is spring supposed to be 20th, 21st? This is the 24th. Okay, maybe you will sweep out the winter and we're going to try. Bring we're, in we're the gonna, spring. We're, we're going to try, yes. I mean, we yes. say a lot of prayers for the parade day that the weather is good, so maybe those same prayers can carry over. I used to remember uh, our good friend John Burke, who used to talk about rosary beads hanging oh, in the window. Oh, that the best for the parade? I and, miss and, him and, every year so at the don't parade, I, and, so don't I. And, uh, it, and not just that parade, but the Veterans Day parade and the Memorial oh, Day yeah. parade, because he was always there with that big orange hat. That's absolutely right. Which he gave me his like, his some of his stuff when he left. I, I I miss him. I think about him all the time. All of his kids are involved with our Southeastern Regional Alumni Association because they all went to Southeastern Region. And and today. 50, 50 year anniversary gala. That's where I'm going tonight. That's okay. awesome. It's hey, great place. A lot of people coming out of there. A lot of people doing good things. Um, very underutilized and very uh, under promoted. But they built one heck of a sleigh, did they not, for Santa? They built one heck of a sleigh, let me tell you. Okay. When I brought the picture of the Macy's sleigh in there, and they looked at it and said, uh, well, okay, let's see if we can get this done. Well, we're trying to get, we're trying to figure out a way, and it's too, too big and too heavy. I'd love to put a tiny house in the parade, because so far they've built two tiny houses. The first one was great. The second one was even better because they built radiant heat in the floor. Okay, it's just like the you watch the tiny house show on TV. Our kids are capable of doing all that stuff, and 64% and of them are from the City of Champions. Well, I'm yeah. ready to approach them on another project for a uh, another float. Why can't we do a tiny house as a gingerbread house and then have it number two? And then we can, as it goes by, we can pull a slab off of it and eat it, right? Right. Yeah, right? Yeah, you, yeah. We like the yeah. desserts. We're into right. the desserts. So tell us about its Winter's End Ball, correct? Winter's End Celebration. It's our fifth year. Um, as you know, I have an amazing committee that uh, puts not only the parade together, but works on this uh, particular gala. And really what it is, is uh, to your point, it finishes off kind of like uh, the holiday season, and the celebration of James Edgar and in the spirit of what he was about, what he meant to the uh, community of Brockton and to the children of the school system. And so um, in that year, we give out uh, awards to multiple categories, one being art, one being uh, literacy, which is the James Edgar essay contest, and then, of course, the Good Samaritan um, Community Service Award, which this year is going to go to a dear friend of mine who I grew up with, and a dear friend of yours, Rick Saviano. Um, John, i got to tell you something. That man, one of the most humble men that you would ever know, who has changed his career in public service. He was a judge. Now he's a uh, first assistant district attorney. But what he's known for is his volunteerism, his caring of the community, the kids, okay? 100%. I mean, you're a Pied Piper of kids, so is Rick. The, the Brockton Youth Soccer Association, second to none, and look at where the kids of Brockton ended up this year. Number state one, state champions, the enthusiasm. We made that our top story of the year. Okay? And so it should have been. Okay, and Rick is responsible for that. Yes, with, you need his, a good, with all of his volunteers. You need a great feeder program, uh, no matter what type of program you have, whether it's football, soccer, baseball, whether it's literacy, whether it's community, you need a feeder program. And what Rick created in the last 20 plus years with the Brockton Youth Soccer Program is exactly that. Um, all my kids went through it. He uh, is tireless in his efforts to help uh, the young people. Um, doesn't want any credit. And I've known him all my life. He's, uh, to your point, he's very humble. Um, you know, he did that for so many years, and now he's doing top soccer, which is working with uh, disabled children in soccer. So it was great, and it was coincidental that um, 
a separate committee uh, picked him based on nominations for the award uh, for the James Edgar uh, recipient. And the soccer team wins the state championship. Same year. Same year. And the enthusiasm that, I mean, that, the parade is great. That was one of the best parts. Those smiles on those faces. My team followed them the whole year. We went all the way with them to the championships. And um, soccer, if you think about it, with the, the community, football was always king. Okay, but football is in many other countries other than the United States. I, I know the revolution, we don't fill the stands over there, but if you look at the, 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 the passion that people have for their national soccer teams right here, right here in Brockton. I mean, those kids made you proud. Those were some of the most respectful kids I think I ever saw. Yeah, I think that uh, it resonates a, a lot of what most people don't think is happening in the city of Brockton. I got the same vibe with him. I got to meet him throughout the year. Uh, my kids went through the soccer program, not only through Rick's program, but also at the high school. Um, you know, I've known the coaches. Uh, we see the kids, you know, during prom time. Uh, when, they, when I heard that uh, this was going to happen, I immediately went out and uh, talked to the committee so we can give them some floats. They weren't duck boats, but uh, they were great floats. That's next. We'll build a duck boat. We'll build That's a what duck we're going to do. Right? We'll build a right. duck boat. So like it. it was great because uh, as I got to meet him individually, humble, um, respectful. Uh, I talked about a lot of the history in the community. They welcomed the conversation. They wanted to hear more. Um, I was asked to give a speech for their banquet, of which we provided the tuxedos, of which I couldn't have been more proud to do. My brother and I were just so enthusiastic it was because, because of the type of caliber of kid they were, the, the type of respect that they had. And it wasn't only because they won, it was because it was a whole package. And so I was uh, asked if I could do some sort of presentation because we had made plans. And one of the things that I wanted to resonate with them is that they now are ambassadors in the city of champions. They are champions in the city of champions and should carry on that stewardship. You and I can be proud all day, but I gotta finish the last two minutes with you telling us about this event. So how do you get tickets? Um, where? Are they online, website, phone number, all of that? So the event's on March 24th at the War Memorial. You go to www.usachristmastown.org and you can get tickets right there through Eventbrite. Or you can get tickets at Tuxedos by Marion. Um, black tie preferred, but you can come dressed up elegantly, whatever you prefer to dress up in, suit, fine. Uh, you're going to have a great night, great entertainment. we got a great band. Uh, we have great food. Uh, Martilio's is going to make us a cake. Um, WB Mason gave us two baseball tickets. Our partner's down here. We're in downtown Brockton. Two baseball tickets for the Red Sox. Uh, anybody that comes in and buys a ticket for the ball, okay, that ticket becomes their... Raffle ticket. Raffle ticket. So it's, we're cool. not selling them. And thanks to W.B. Mason on that. Um, as I mentioned, we have awards that are going out. Alyssa Texero won the cover. cover contest. And then we have the James Edgar recipient, which will be uh, for the essay contest. And that is going to be Vincent Rodriguez. And uh, we do that at 4 o'clock, 4 to 5.30. Okay, and right. we'll be there for part of it. Same night as our volunteer appreciation I night. I heard but, that. But we'll, we'll, we'll support it anyway. Thanks, John. I wish you much success on that, and thank you so much. You're welcome. For all your support. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.